Hello everyone, I am Douglas E. Welch and this is What Douglas Dug, presented by A Gardener's Notebook. For more information on this blog and podcast and more great gardening content, please visit douglasewelch.com. What Douglas Dug is a review of some of the best gardening items I've found in my internet travels during the past month. You can receive my shared items, as I find them, on my various social media accounts, including Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and Google+. You'll find links to all of these on the website. Starting off this month's interesting items is this printable garden notebook idea from AliceContrell.com. She provides you a printable artistic cover for the notebooks and instructions on how to assemble them using your own materials. These notebooks are a great project for kids, and they can use them to record their own gardening adventures. There are literally thousands of ideas online for making plant markers for your garden, but I was quite taken with this idea from Garden Therapy. The materials include galvanized wire and washers from your local hardware store and a metal stamp kit. Use the stamp kit to letter your washers for whatever plants you wish, and then either hang them from hooks made from the galvanized wire, or hang them directly on the plants using some twine. I've been looking at this idea for a while, and it just might be the one thing that makes me go buy a metal stamping kit. You may have seen similar ideas using old antique spoons that are hammered flat and then lettered on such sites as Etsy.com. Over our 16 years here in this house, we've slowly been losing the roses planted by the previous owner due to drought and shady conditions. We've been working to open up the light and rebuild our irrigation systems, so now I want to try and propagate some new rose plants from the remaining roses. This page gives a lot of great information on how to improve your rose propagation success rate and some issues you might experience. Rooting roses isn't the easiest thing in the garden, but with good information like this, it might become just a little bit easier. This amazing fruit is a blue moon pumpkin. I pinned this on Pinterest the moment I saw it. I'm amazed at its blue color and would love to grow it here next year, if it can be grown in Southern California. It's such a striking contrast to our typical ideas of what a pumpkin is. I'm always on the lookout for great books on gardening and food, and Veg Plotting offers up this wide variety of books that they call my constant reference library. It's certainly worth looking for these books at your local library or bookstore. The books include Salad Leaves for All Seasons, The Edible Balcony, and more. You'll find a complete list with descriptions in the linked blog post. There's more on the subject of propagation than in this post from Growing the Home Garden, Five Shrubs to Propagate in Late Fall or Winter. I feel a distinct urge to get into garden propagation in a big way. Along with the roses I mentioned above, I want to make more lavender, more azaleas, more clytostoma vines, and more of just about everything I have in the garden right now, or anything cool I can find in a friend's garden. With all the windstorms, hurricanes, and now the winter season, knowing how to care for your trees can be very important. Trees Are Good provides some excellent ideas in this article. First Aid Procedures for Trees. Learn how to better care for your trees, prevent damage in the future, and care for them if they do get damaged. One of the great things about Pinterest is the ability to quickly scan through the items visually. In this case, this recycled bed frame caught my eye immediately. As with many items I share, this is part of my Someday Maybe file. I might not have an opportunity to use it right now, but when the opportunity presents itself, I'll have a ready reference close at hand. As gardeners, we're often faced with difficult locations when making a garden. We don't often get to choose exactly where we will garden, so we must make the best of it. This photo gives an excellent solution for a small, steeply sloped space. Most people wouldn't even try to garden on this spot, but with a little creativity, we can garden almost anywhere. Gardening is filled with new technology every day, but it seems these root cups could help improve your propagation projects. Do you sense a theme in this month's show? According to the manufacturer, the root cups help keep the leaves of the cutting above the soil to prevent rot and also help prevent evaporation so the cuttings require a little less attention as they root. For myself, anything that makes a process easier is a welcome addition to my toolkit. And finally, here is an article to store away until spring. Eight gorgeous trees for winter interest in the garden from house.com. If you're looking for more visual interest in your garden in coming winters, think about planting one of these eight trees which continue to be interesting right through the cold and snowy months of the year. 
My favorite from the list is the paper bark maple featured in this photograph. Unfortunately, maples don't grow very well here in Southern California, so I might have to hold on to this idea for a while before I can bring it to fruition. Thanks for watching this episode of What Douglas Doug. Please let me know which items you found most interesting or useful. It'll help me find more great ideas in the future. Leave your links and comments on the blog at douglasewelch.com slash A-G-N or as a YouTube comment. Speaking of YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It helps other YouTube members discover my videos and helps support the blog and podcast. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and see a notification whenever I post a new video. Until next time, keep digging.